फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट रिगार्डिंग भोला शंकर पी डब्ल्यू वन स्टेटेड दैट ही केम आफ्टर द इंसिडेंट वैन पी डब्ल्यू वन ट्राइड टू गो नियर हिज फादर अपीलाट नित्यानंद हैड फायर्ड इन द एयर टू स्टोप हिम एंड देयर आफ्टर ही रैन अवे नो फायर वॉज शोट फॉर कोजिंग इंजरी आइदर टू पी डब्ल्यू वन ओर टू द डिसीज्ड पीपल डिड नॉट फाइंड एनी कार्टरेज और एम्पटी कार्टरेज ऑन द स्पोर्ट He admitted that because of his uncle Lakshmi Narayan gifting all his property to the sons of Satya Narayan, including himself, there was enmity between the two sides. Regarding the deceased, P. W. One stated that he had taken his last meal between two to two thirty p.m. when he had taken dal and roti. His father's daily routine was to go to Har ki Pori for taking a bath in the Ganga. On the fateful day, his father went to ease himself first, and then went for bathing. P. W. One stated that his uncle Shri Dev had exhorted the other accused persons to kill his father. This fact, however, is not mentioned in the FIR. P W one stated that he was at the crime scene for about half an hour. During this period, about hundred to two hundred people had gathered. After intimation was sent to home about the incident, people from home had also arrived. After getting the report written, P W one proceeded to the police station in a rickshaw and submitted the same. P W one denied the suggestion. that the incident as reported in the fir had not happened at the time mentioned therein and that the accused persons were falsely implicated due to previous enmity he also denied the suggestion that the fir exhibit 1 was not written in the handwriting of kuldeep bhola shankar son of satya narayan deposed as pw2 while reiterating what was stated by pw1 leading to the incident he further stated that satya narayan had cried out for help to save him when he was being assaulted by the accused persons he stated that he along with other people rushed to the spot when apilant nityanand fired from his country made pistol he asserted that he along with the other people had seen the accused assaulting satya narayan after the accused persons escaped towards the southwestern side they came to the spot where satya narayan was lying by that time he was already dead with half of his body inside the water in his cross examination pw2 stated that he had seen the incident with his own eyes FIR was written by Kuldeep Kumar and his statement was also recorded by the police he further stated that he had seen satya narayan falling down the stairs and crying for help at that time pw1 was also near him and he had also witnessed the assault he denied the suggestion that he was not present at the time of incident and that he was not witness to the writing and lodging of the fir he further denied that the suggestion that he was deposing falsely due to his friendship with the informant dr satya mitra who was serving in the district hospital eta deposed as pw3 he had carried out the post mortem examination on the dead body of satya narayan on 9 september 1992 following which he found the following anti mortem injuries on the body of the deceased stop